this video, we are going to provide some examples for solving evaluate functions from a graph within the Delta Math online system. So here's our first problem. It says find the value of f of 4. It gives us the graph. So when it says f of 4, it tells us the input value is 4. Input is the x value. So we're going to go to where x equals 4, and then we're going to see where does the graph cross this imaginary vertical line at x equals 4. Where does it cross? It crosses at when y is 3. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to put in the answer is 3. Submit it. And there you go. And this kind of shows you how we got that answer, right? So vertical line there at x equals 4. And then where does it cross the y? The y is 3. Let's do another one. Okay, find the value of f of negative 9. So that means x is negative 9. So go all the way over to negative 9 for x. Where's the y value? The y value is at positive 9. So I'm going to plug in 9. And there you go. And there's the visual again, how we found that. Let's do another one. Find f of negative 6. All right, the input value is x is negative 6. Y is 5. Here's another one, f of 6. So this time, x equals 6. What's the y value on the graph when x is 6? The y value is way down here at negative 9. All right. f of negative 4. All right, so input is x is negative 4. What's the output? The y value is 4, positive. And we'll do one more. Uh, find f of negative 4 again. So we go to negative 4 for x. And what's the y value? It looks like it's 3. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Evaluating a function. You've, it gives you the input value. That's the x value. You have to find the output value, which is the y on the graph for when x is that value. 